ADC Airstream. I want you to go grab mom and dad, bring them on over to the TV so they can check this out. So Willie, you grab Connie, Eddie, you grab Brad, bring them over. We're talking 25 foot Airstream. First of all, thank you for coming out, uh, checking out, uh, shining some aluminum with me. I appreciate that so much. I'm going to do a quick walk around on the 25 foot front bedroom twin and then I'll wrap up in a serenity which will show you that color variation. Connie, I think that you kind of appreciate it. Um, but let's start up front. Right away you see Lexan stainless steel. Now, the, the Lexan, it's kind of the sunglasses of the Airstream. Yes, it's there for protection, but it also is going to cut down that UV stuff. Uh, it's going to help as far as then it then becomes an awning, which is a beautiful thing. The stainless steel wraps are, are for protection, but I also refer to them as the jewelry of the travel trailer. They pivot in and out so that I can do all of that fun uh, clean up behind there, which frankly just takes an adult beverage and a hose. Um, your undermount um, spare tire is in the front. Two things about that. Nobody knows where it is so it don't get stolen. The other thing is protect it from the sun so that UV is not going to start degrading that tire. It's going to degrade uh, uh, at lesser e evils than the actual road, road tires. Now, because we have a twin here, we've got the option of all of this storage. And I'm just pointing it out right now because I've got diamond plate interior, beautiful. Uh, and by the way, this is insulated better than the travel trailer itself. I have front storage. I have not only port, but I have starboard storage. A lot of storage on the 25-foot twin. It's beautiful. What else I got? Twin 30-pound propane tank. 60 pounds of propane. Um, I hope you guys are doing a lot of cooking. I hope you're showering a lot. Uh, I hope you're... Uh, heating the heck out of this thing for cool weather camping because 30 pounds of pressure of uh, a propane uh, tank 60 total a lot of propane now the Atwood system as far as yes this is my um, this will help when I'm hooking up but also leveling the trailer behind my propane tanks I have dual deep cell batteries two batteries uh, there's also an inverter system, which we'll hit on when we get inside. Uh, along with that, I have an additional 30 amp service as far as my, if I want to add, if I'm utilizing my vehicle uh, with a generator system, I have two ports as far as the 30 amp is concerned. Uh, the other thing I have, I have a quick release propane port, which allows me to set up a little gas grill. I could backflow into my uh, resource. I could also do things like uh, uh, space heater, something like that. Now this awning, I, I, while it acts as an awning, you also have tempered glass and all of the panoramic windows, they're all three-way adjustable, which is going to let tens of thousands of cubic feet of area. Then as we get to the side here, you're going to see additional storage. And then some of the cool things. One of the options we talked about is the overhead on, uh, wrap window awnings. Now, while that's easy and it's cool and it's all sunbrella fabric, sewn on the bias for tensile strength, it also serves a purpose. First of all, with this graphite color, kind of neat because it doesn't show mold, mildew, all of that. But also, your refrigeration system is right here. This is going to protect, if you will, or extend the longevity of the interior uh, system. I love that. Outdoor shower. Um, Willie, Eddie, uh, we got you covered, brother. We're going to make sure that we got hot water for you. So when you're washing your paws off as you're coming out of that lake, I mean, we got this is just a beautiful thing. Um, and then if you go inside and you lay down on that ultra leather, don't worry. 
It'll take the water, it'll take the dirt, it'll take the abuse. Cool. Lockable potable water. It is located here because the actual tanks themselves are between the axles. Now on the 25 we talked about your septic or sewer system is located in front of the axle. That's going to protect any damage to PVC too. So I love the fact that I have that um, opportunity right here. And by the way, there is LED lamps because we know we will be setting up hopefully after dark, after we've taken that drive to uh, Santa Fe. Cool. Now, 30 amp service. Also, I've got TV and satellite hookups. Everything is... Um, there is, by the way, indicator lamp so that I know that my service is attached. Just to point out quickly, these are all radius Airstream windows, meaning that they are buck riveted and locked into place, all UV tinted glass. Let's face it, kind of the cool factor, if you will. And then you have the sealed aluminum uh, panel for my forced air furnace. I don't want to miss talking a just a quick shot about the axle system this is a dexter axle system these are you have electronic brakes on all four wheels these are no lube hubs these are never adjust brakes you have a shock absorber system along with that independent action that happens to each tire remember your stuff's in here let's protect your stuff that's going to be done by this dexter axle system come on around Okay, Willie, Eddie, um, obviously you've got the cool factor once again. We've got a window awning in the back. Uh, we've got the beautiful panoramic. I love the rear entrance front twin 25. Why? Because if I'm at that campground, if I'm at that uh, park, whatever, it seems to me out the back, what am I going to have here? I'm going to have the trees, the lake, the pond. This is going to be that beautiful view. So I've got radius windows. I've got the panoramics. I've got, by the way, I've got a trunk. Willie, Eddie, we can keep your dog bones in here. We can keep, uh, you, you, you bring in extra toys. We're going to store them in here, along with the hoses, the leveling blocks, all that fun stuff. So to have the luxury of additional storage within the trunk, beautiful. Make a quick notation. These are LED lamps. All the running lamps, LED. Backup lamps, LED. All of the inside lights, LED. This trailer's gonna be around a lot longer than, well, Willie, you, Eddie, and myself. What can I say? And then you have the luxury of 25 feet of overhead, beautiful awning. Uh, with that, though, comes the cool factor, and that's how an Airstream is built. This door is, uh, you have the people protector. You got the Willie and Eddie thing going on down here. Fully welded steel. I mean, fully welded aluminum. Uh, when an Airstream door shuts, we have the light illuminating this on this radius door. And when an Airstream door shuts, that is something that no other manufacturer has. It takes Airstream eight hours to manufacture that door. Uh, that is kind of what where it starts and ends with Airstream, their quality. Uh, you got this beautiful expanse with all this awning, which by the way, let's get hung up on interior, but uh, where are you going to spend your time? Right out here. Come on in, this is the 25 Twin. 25 foot, now this is the Flying Cloud series, so we know about the different upgrades and going to Corian surfaces, going from Moe to Growy, uh, going from uh, Radius cabinetry to the backlit cabinetry and the Serenity, but this is the same setup or footprint as the International series. So we've done a combination of the cashew leather here with the Golden Knight uh, accents, and this is kind of what this platform is all about. It starts with the light. Vista view, vista view, which you can close off. We can make sure that that light is. Then we have the radius airstream windows, light pouring in. We've got these beautiful ocean breeze, uh, ocean air uh, shades. 
The lights pour in. Then we have the panoramics that wrap the entire back end of this travel trailer with that three position window, acres and acres of, of air rushing in. Then we have overhead skylight that dumps light in. And along with that, I've got a fantastic fan both fore and aft. So, uh, and by the way, these fans, they're fantastic. Willie, Eddie, you're going to love that white noise pulling all that air out of here. Uh, when you come in from the pond, the lake, you're going to be lounging on, on this beautiful upholstery, which, by the way, pulls out. So, uh, Eddie, this is yours. We'll drop this down here. Willie, this is yours. Drops into a double. you got to pull out here. By the way, this is ultra leather. Uh, it's a product that breathes. It will adapt to your body temperature. What that means is no hot sticky in the summer, no cool slick in the winter. It is uh, a breathable product, which means also uh, you guys get your paws in the water. You come in, uh, you start trashing the sofa. Guess what? Wipes off clean, and not only that, it'll take the moisture. Uh, underneath here, you're going to see a secondary set of outlets. What's that? Whoa, that's what's called our inverter system. What this travel trailer has not only is a converter, the converter would be when you're plugged into shore power, it will take that power and convert it so I can use all the one, all the uh, 12 volt stuff. An inverter will allow me to plug 110 devices into that second set of outlets. I can run my computer, my coffee maker, and then I have, you know, the toys such as the Clarion sound system, I have my Blu-ray uh, DVD CD player, additional USB ports, the ability to plug in fun stuff. My daughters turned me on to Netflix, uh, which, by the way, Willie, Eddie, you can get the Animal Planet, I'm sure, because you got to watch, I'm sure, what's going on with that. And then you've got uh, inverted outlets here. All of your lighting above is all LED, and it is on a rheostat or, if you will, a dimmer switch. Beautiful. Now let's talk about one of the major changes to 2016, which is a game changer for sure. You have ducted AC where I can close off all of my overhead vents. What does that mean? Well, I've got a 15.5 BTU AC unit, which is quiet now sitting on top of this unit, which allows me to direct the flow of air any way I want. If I'm going to be sleeping at night, I'm going to put everything forward. If I am going to be lounging during the day, I'm going to bring all that beautiful air back here. So the system, while, yes, the ducted AC took a lot of noise out, the next step was that it became quite a bit more efficient. Uh, so LED reading lamps above, uh, you have... Undermount LEDs, light pouring in everywhere. I love the storage and the space on the 25. Let's check out the galley. The galley in the 25 sets up beautifully, uh, starting right away. Deep well stainless. So I've got all this beautiful storage area. There's lucite covers that go above. We've got Moen. We've got the beautiful moon porthole windows with overhead um, ocean air shades. You've got your brains of the operation. All your computer control panels are right here for your inverter system and also your ability to monitor your battery, your fresh water, your gray water, your black water, all at your fingertips. So nicely set up. Then, of course, we've got storage. We've got pantry storage, uh, pots and pan storage underneath. We've got uh, side-mounted steel rides as far as the uh, chest of drawers. We have a convection microwave that we can grill with, we can bake with, we can microwave with. We have a triple, um, triple outlet uh, gas or propane stove, uh, stainless steel surface, European uh, vented fan, which allows access to the entire uh, cabinet, lots of, lots of counter space, and then, of course, the fun stuff. This is your your pantry space which allows full uh, uh, you can uh, change all of the rack systems in there to hold all whatever it is you need additional overhead storage and then we come to the Dometic this is a 7.3 cubic foot uh, Dometic uh, refrigerator freezer 
this is the big dog, and it's got a brain. If we are plugged into shore power, and we unplug to take our trip, that will automatically switch over to propane, so all my stuff stays cold, rolling down the road. Then once we get to our destination, we plug back into shore power, it automatically switches back over. Beautifully accomplished. And then we have our, our ducting, our uh, venting for our, um, which is all directional for our forced air furnace. So once again, just the living area and the galley of the 25 sets up beautifully. Now let's talk about midship. The living uh, quarters in the 25 at 5,500 and some odd pounds, which is a very lightweight travel trailer, allows us to... I can close off my living area, if you will, from uh, center deck. Now what does that do for me? Well that allows me, if I'm back in the master, to access the walk-in shower, which has, by the way, 12 volt fan, it's got uh, LED lighting, it's got a seat in here, it's got clothesline, it's all beaded glass, and a big guy can get in there. While someone else is utilizing the lavatory. And then what else I can do? I have access to my wardrobe, LED lamps on the inside. But what I then can do is if I'm in the uh, uh, master, I can close off the master. So I can create an individual environment or I can close off either living area. That would allow my guests to use the uh, lavatory and the shower. So they were thinking when they thought up the concept of the, the lavatory shower in the 25 foot Airstream. Check out this lavatory. Lavatory in the 25 has got plenty of room to change your socks. You've got all this beautiful stainless steel mowing appliances. Uh, overhead cabinetry, you've got uh, dual LED lights and an additional 12 volt fan with, and certainly the AC is here, pedestal toilet. So once again, all the comforts of home in that space where you're not encroaching on the rest of the travel trailer. Now let's check out the master. When it comes right down to it, the twin design in an Airstream travel trailer gives you a lot of opportunity. Opportunity for overhead storage, uh, storage galore. Opportunity for additional wardrobe storage. So you have additional wardrobe storage. The beds, which are the twin beds themselves, are actually going to be slightly larger or longer than the size of the queen bed if you're going in the queen bed. Then you have all the light that dumps in. You've got the side, you've got the side windows. You've got the front pan panoramic windows, which, by the way, have the sunglasses. You then have uh, reading lamps. You have an additional set of overhead LEDs, which are on a rheostat. And you have an additional fantastic fan. So what an environment that you're creating in the master bedroom in the 25. By the way, you have a 28-inch television up front. Samsung HD LED, and then you have an additional TV back here. So Willie, if uh, if Willie, if you want to be in front watching Animal Planet while Eddie's back here checking out, uh, I don't know, he might want to watch. Uh, uh, let's see, probably Rin Tin Tin. Why not? Would he do, would he not want to do that? Of course he would. All of your uh, heating and cooling is controlled with one touch. It is a Dometic system. So while you have that opportunity, it's just like home, Eddie. We put a paw on that, and it's uh, we set the temperature, set it, and forget it. So I have the ability to monitor all of my heating, cooling, my heat pump, because you have a secondary heat source. Not only the forced air, but you have you can draw heat from your can from your heat strip on your uh, AC unit, and uh, of course everything is done right here at your fingertips. I love the setup on the 25 Twin. Okay, Willie, Eddie, I wanted to finish by uh, showing you the, I guess, the design elements that are in the 25-foot Serenity, which would be combinations of grass cloth, uh, lucite doors with Corian surfaces. Growy is the manufacturer as far as the uh, faucets are concerned. 
Then you have that Floco polyester finish work on the Asian sand cabinetry, light cabinetry. You have the floor, which is done in this beautiful textured uh, panel and panel. And uh, then, of course, here we've done oyster leather uh, with the uh, textured surfaces on the tables. So once again, the 25 has option as far as color, option as far as floor plan, uh, and option as far as that. I love that weight, though, rolling down the road. So once again, uh, Willie, Eddie, you got to tell Mom and Dad, uh, Brad, Connie, thank you. Uh, really enjoyed meeting you guys and uh, hanging out. Uh, bring the dogs. Come on back. You can get me at my cell. Uh, I'm sorry, my phone here is 614-279-8880. Or give me a shout-out via email, eric at haydesey.com. Uh, once again, two things. I always want you to uh, enjoy the journey, but most of all, this is the 25-foot Airstream, so happy camping.